Hello everyone. This tutorial would show you how to create a project map for your property. When creating a map for your property, you're going to be using all of these buttons at the top of the panel here. These are very important because they're going to be guiding you or going to helping you in creating points, lines or area for your property. This one here is your button or your point place mark. This one here is for your area or your polygon. And this one here is for creating path or creating line segment. To start creating a map for your property, would be good to see where your property is on the map. Now, one way of doing that is when you receive a QML file being sent to you by email all you could do or one thing that you could do is go to file open and then open that QML file that you just received here I'm gonna use this one QML and I'm gonna open it the good thing about this is that it will directly zoom you in to the property that you want to go or in this um, example to your property when you open a KML file it will automatically displayed under the temporary places as shown on the left panel here before you start creating any place marks or any line that, that you want to draw on the map first thing you need to do first and this is very important you go to your temporary places right click of your mouse and start adding a folder now this is important because when you create this folder and when you start creating place marks or line all of those place marks and line or area that you're gonna draw will fall under this folder so there will be um, straightforward put into this folder here what will be good when you create this folder is to name it as my project again you can put a description of the project if you want to but if not continue pressing OK now you can see here that's our KML file that we just opened and under there is our folder that we've just created name my project so now we create a location I'm gonna click my project on the top button or at the top panel here I'm gonna create a place mark immediately it will open up a window and try to resize this so that it won't bother you off your screen I want to name this place mark as tank I can again I can put a description of the tank or black tank uh, 200 liters and then make sure that you don't close this window yet and may, if, because if you want to zoom in somewhere for example that's the location of our, ma our tank just bring the point in there then finally press OK you can see here immediately as what I've said under project that tank that we just created is put under that project folder if you want to create lines for example or a fence line you go up and point it to add path again it's important to click my project first go up the top select that one I would say existing fence line again you can put description let's say three kilometers 
and then I would start drawing my fence line. I assume, or I know that this area here, or this line here, showing on the satellite imagery, is my existing fence line. And then I press OK. Again, it will show under my project folder. It is really important to make a map for your property that to show all the features of your property. Here, again, click my project. I want to draw a pipeline. Uh, I would say this is my proposed pipeline. I want to say um, two kilometers of pipeline. I would put my pipeline somewhere here, there, starting there, goes down here, through there, up here, and that very end. Now, if you want to change the color of this, you can do as well. You just go to styles and colors, press the color button, change into blue if you want to use blue as a symbology for your pipeline and there you go you have a blue you can increase the size or the width of the line you can do that as well I'll make that two so it becomes thicker now I'm done and that's my pipeline in there um, also if you have like a weed infestation for example and you want to make sure that you draw a infestation of the area again click my project select the add a polygon or add an area I would say weed infestation and in the description here I can say um, the type of weed which is Parkinsonia uh, maybe a density of um, scattered density and I would start drawing my infestation around this place there we go right there and then I created my infestation again I can change the color because I want to also see the outline and not just the um, sorry not just the fill but only the outline and there I can see it there straight away now this is one way of doing or quickly making a map of your property